today we're going to talk through how to climb hills on your bike, whether you're riding by yourself or in a group scenario like riding the Chilly Hilly Summer Edition. We're going to talk through your approach, how to ascend, how to get off and stop and walk, and then I'm going to show you how to do that on my own bike. So first your approach. Before you're even on a hill, you want to start shifting down. Uh, this will make it a lot easier to pedal and you want to do it before the hill so it gives your bike a bit of time to adjust. This is also a good time to start leaving some space between you and the rider in front of you because they're also going to be shifting. So a little bit of extra time is good. Next, when you're ascending, uh, don't be afraid to keep shifting down whenever you need it. Uh, there's no reason to have it in a high gear. It's just gonna be harder on your knees, harder to pedal. And so we always say, spin it to win it. Keep those pedals going. When you're riding with a group, you want to ride in a straight line going up. You want to ride predictably always. The more information you give to riders around you, the better. So some people like to ride in a zigzag when it's low traffic and they're by themselves, but you don't wanna do this if there's ever any traffic or other riders with you. Again, you wanna be predictable. The next thing is if you're riding around other bikers, there's a bunch in front of you, um, you should act as you do if you're driving a vehicle, which is if you're going up a hill, you never want to cross over that dotted yellow line. It's a very unsafe scenario. I understand the desire to want to pass around, but crossing over that yellow line is extremely unsafe because you're just not seen. So just wait, wait your turn or let uh, folks, folks in front of you know that you'd like to pass and they might get over to the side. So you've, you're busy ascending, but what if you want to get off and stop and walk? There's no shame in that. Biking is fun and it is not punishment. So if you don't feel like doing a hill, don't do a hill. Just get off and stop and walk. A safe way to do that is to make sure you're talking to everyone around you. Um, and that can be either using your voice or using your hand signals. So first you want to go off to the right side. So you have right or right, and then you want to stop. So when I'm using my hand signals, or even if I can't, I'm always saying it out loud because sometimes, you know, folks have their eyes down and the more information we give them, the better. So talk, signal, they're going right and stopping. And then you want to stay aware of who is around you, what is around you. For example, I don't want to stay stopped in the middle of the street. Or say if you're doing the Chili Hilly with us in August, when you're riding on Wyatt Way Hills, there's a good amount of hills on there. One of them happens right after a 90 degree turn. So it, you don't necessarily see the hill coming up. You might not prepare, but what you don't want to do is stop at the bottom because you're not able to be seen after that 90 degree turn. So either, you know, make it a little ways up and get off to the side or dismount and keep walking. Something to keep you out of the way of people who might be coming around that bend really quickly. So stay aware of who is around you. So we talked through approach, our ascent, and stopping and walking. And now I'm gonna show you on my own bike. So I'm gonna go around the bend there a minute. I'm gonna shift to my lowest gears and then you'll see me start to ascend. There we go. Shifted to both gears. I'm pedaling. It's getting hard, so I'm coming off to the side. Stopping. Great. Dismount, making sure I'm getting all the way off to the side. If you didn't have time to shift your gears before the hill caught you unaware, you can always dismount shift now and then pedal forward and it will shift for you and then you can try that hill again otherwise if you just want to walk just be aware of what's around you as you start to walk i hope you found this information helpful remember to just be aware give folks all the information that they need and don't be afraid to jump on your bike my name is amy corver i'm the education coordinator at cascade bicycle club and i hope to see you on the trails